welcome. <laughs> what are you doing now? Well, as you can see, we are shutting down. The evaporator is just cooling off. We uh, ran the, the rest of our sap from the head tank into the evaporator to pasteurize it. And this uh, pan of syrup, there's about eight to 10 gallons in here. I want to check the density on it tonight before we go. Not all the syrup was made today. Some of it was made yesterday. So when we came to start boiling tonight, um, there was three or four gallons in here that was maybe room temperature or who knows what. And then on top of that, we drew off, of course, a bunch of boiling syrup. So I don't know what the temperature is, but I, I need to t check the density. And how do you do that? Well, we use the Murphy cup. So um, I want to show you what I do. What we tend to do here, we aim to draw off syrup that is uh, slightly heavy. We take it off past syrup with the intent later on to draw off a less dense product and, and mix it into it to, to get a perfect density sample. So um, I mixed it to get the temperature uh, uniform all the way through the uh, pan. So I'm just filling it out of the filler valve. And <clears throat> we'll just take a sample. So everything's covered in sugar, the, the Murphy cup is dirty, the, the hydrometer is clean, I have that clean just for accuracy. But uh, so the, hydro the, the Murphy cup is telling us we should be floating at about 65. Yeah, let me get in and zoom in on that. Yep. Again, sorry, it's a little dirty. But the Murphy cup is telling us we should be reading at about actually 64.8 or 9 bricks. So where are we here? Well, we happen to be pretty much perfect so I yeah so there's the 65 <clears throat> yeah yeah so there's the 65 mark and it's riding high so I would say we're just about there I'm not gonna do anything now typically if this syrup was a little bit heavy uh, we would draw off some more liquid out of the pan to dilute it down to syrup and this is the time to do it uh, I do it when I'm shutting down I do it using the Murphy cup and the uh, gold series hydrometer What's the Gold Series Hydrometer? Uh, the Gold Series Hydrometer is just something we started offering two years ago. Um, it's, uh, it has a, the same upgraded scale that we have on all of our hydrometers. Um, if you look at that, every single point, sugar point, has a, a number. Can to zoom in on that? Can you put your hand behind it? I can put it here. That would allow you to zoom in on it better. Yeah, yeah. okay. So every increment is numbered. Right? It has a number delineation, yep. There's a few things about the Gold Series hydrometer. Um, yeah. uh, another facet is that it has a food grade ballast, so if you do ever break this thing, God forbid, at least the ballast is food grade. The only one in the maple industry. It's built with tempered glass, so it's stronger. It's uh, Still an inherently fragile instrument, but at least this one is stronger with its tempered glass. The biggest advantage of this Murphy cup, and you're gonna to need to zoom in again, or I'm, I'm sorry, the biggest advantage of this gold series hydrometer is that it has a reference indicator. Can you see that red line cast into the glass there? Okay, you can see it up toward the top. Mm -hmm. That is cast right into the glass, and that line extends down to the 35, to the 45 mark, the top line of the scale. So if that scale ever slides as the hydrometer ages, the adhesive may let loose in your hydrometer. It's an age-old problem with hydrometers. At least if the scale moves, you know that you can't trust the hydrometer or you can compensate for it. Best of all, you should replace it if you, if you know the scale doesn't work. So uh, it's been a huge success for us. We just love this hydrometer. Great. Cool. So, Thanks for sharing, Jim. Yeah, another good night of boiling. We'll, we'll try to shoot a video of us boiling on this, this uh, high-performance little evaporator in the next few days. It should be fun. All right. Smoky Lake Maple Products, this is what it boils down to. Have a good night.